A textbook case of a hate crime. That is what a Cook County judge said this afternoon after he gave a 39 year old Niles man a quarter of a million dollar bond for painting swastikas on a synagogue and a Jewish high school in Rogers Park. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live from West Rogers Park, where yet another hate crime was reported this morning. Megan. Right, Marie, the rabbi at this synagogue said they were threatened by a group of men who went on to break a window in one of the cars in the parking lot. And what's particularly concerning about this morning's incident is that the suspect who was charged in a string of incidents in Rogers Park from over the weekend was already in custody. The issue has to be addressed because we can't allow even emotional hate, any, any form of hate is hate, which can lead to the worst things as we have experienced Jewish people as well as everyone, um, anybody who's experienced hate throughout history. Even 39-year-old Shahid Hussein's physical appearance was concerning to prosecutors who said he wore a mustache similar to Adolf Hitler and a red cape with a yellow swastika on it as he made his way through Rogers Park over the weekend, defacing and damaging several synagogues and a Jewish school within a few blocks of each other in four separate incidents that were reported to police. At one point, a victim said Hussein was screaming threats to get the Jews and break all the windows of every synagogue. While making a saluting motion similar to a Nazi salute. Hussein was eventually taken into custody and admitted to the crimes. Yesterday, we also told you about a kosher food store and a Jewish bakery that sustained property damage. Investigators tell us they're still gathering evidence in those cases, but Hussein is possibly connected to those incidents as well. The next court date. Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox said Hussein was on probation for a forgery case. He spent two years in prison for that case. He also had a stalking and burglary case on his record. His attorney said he appears to suffer from some mental health problems. We asked Fox about Hussein's reoffending while out on. On parole. And we have to have a criminal justice system that recognizes we must be responsive and hold people accountable, but also for those who have come into our system that they have the resources because we don't want people to re-offend. That is one of the biggest indictments on our system is the fact that we have people coming in and out of the system because they're not going to be there forever. Now again, Hussein was already in custody, so it does not appear he's connected to the threats made at this synagogue this morning. Police said they're still investigating, they're still looking at suspects, but they didn't want to get give a lot of details about what happened this morning while that investigation is still pending. Live in West Rogers Park, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.